Guys, one of the winners from Senior Bowl week had to be Carson Wentz. Getting a lot of buzz, a lot of buzz for the Browns at number two. Chris Fedor, I'm going to start with you. Is he mm -hmm. the guy? Uh, no, he's no. not the guy. It's still Jared Goff. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how a Senior Bowl practice or a group of Senior Bowl practices changes what we've seen for the last two years, I guess, when comparing the quarterbacks. Look, I give Carson Wentz a lot of credit because he went to the Senior Bowl and he did something that he should have done. He stood out while he was there and he tried to separate himself from the pack. But Jared Goff wasn't there and I still think Jared Goff is the best quarterback in this class and what he did on the field in real games showed that. Bud? Nobody is the guy on February 1st. <laughs> yeah. that's, my, that's my theory. No, I agree with Chris. I mean, just because the guy ha happened to have the stage to himself, basically, I'd rather wait until after they, everybody looks at these guys at the combine and then uh, prop up some guy that isn't worthy at that point. So, Bud, the NFL draft is like the NBA season. Nothing matters till April. Exactly. Michael. <laughs> Called one of his games in 2014. He's an impressive kid. There's no question about that. I mean, the size, the stature, and everyone's looking at Joe Flacco coming out of Delaware and Ben Roethlisberger even uh, out of Miami, Ohio. And I think that's because of the stature. But I'll echo my uh, two compatriots here. No, he's not the guy. Now, uh, again, if Hugh Jackson continues to look at this and put him ahead, this is going to be an interesting dynamic. But right now, it's got to be Jared Goff, I would most assume. That's what I love about draft season. Next week, I'll ask you guys the same question with a different name. <laughs>